And welcome back again guys with Liege or Sebastian plays Dark Souls Crown of the Sunken King DLC. And yeah, I'm sorry about the latest episode. It kind of was somewhat <laughs> circling around and finding our way. Uh, I had uh, quite like I did have an uh, idea that or thought that it would actually end up being like that that like I knew that we wouldn't be able to uh, find find a way to go forward on that episode but for now I have checked something up and I think I know the way to go uh, for now though I would like to uh, change some of my equipment I just need to know what I'm dealing with additional reduction to any poise all right it's decent increases physical attack Increases poise, which is my own poise, uh, means that I stagger a lot less. And then there's the poison bite ring. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, we seriously should need a poison type of uh, armor or that has more resistant resistance to poison. But for now though, I can't really uh, g get an armor that increases our uh, poison resistance without drastically redu reducing the uh, physical resistance. So yeah, that's the thing. And yeah, I'm sorry about this latest episode. Maybe even the second episode was kind of uh, along those lines, but for now though we are going to go forward here and get things done, hopefully. Down here we go. And try to get the aggro out of the other guys. Uh, on the la last episode I think I mentioned that this game uh, resembles most Hano a lot and if I didn't explain it like uh, as fully as I would have liked to uh, I'm sorry basically a lot of the well you need to uh, know about Monster Hunter to really know what kind of aspects are similar to Monster Hunter on this game uh, for one though one of the biggest similarities would be that you need to check on your opponents, what they do and uh, how they react on what you are, you are doing or plan to do. And that's one of the biggest things why I love Dark Souls as well. But there is a reason why I still sort of or even not even sort of, I just do love um, so you should go back there this music, very creepy what I do want to do though is I want to change my equipment to yeah, the one reason I do love Monster Hunter a lot more than Dark Souls actually is that in Dark Souls there's not a lot of grinding and a reason to gather up any materials, although the upgrading weapons and stuff like that is a same. You gather up some materials like two or three of them and upgrade it to plus one and plus two and plus four uh, so forth. But other than that, I would have liked Dark Souls to be more about that than just... Alright, hopefully this works. A little bit there. Can I do it? Alright. Not there. Man, you're making this hard. Alright. 
Why am I doing this? Well, I just want to get rid of her for one. The second part is to get rid of the other guys. And those are these guys that come here. Or from here. I should say. Hopefully I can get a backstab on this guy. Nope. I can't. I really can't. So what I will do is... I'll try to lure them here. For now. If they are willing to do so. Oh my god. Alright, back away. Take your shield up. Alright. Just calmly get these guys done. Man, this target thingy is seriously me messed up. I don't know if it's just only this DLC. I haven't actually like experienced this sort of stuff on this game earlier. In any point. Alright, you just come here. Come on. Alright. I'm free to fight against you. Come on. Yeah, I don't want to get poisoned. There you are. Those guys, they seem a little... Well, passive, so I'm not that worried about them. There is actually a trap right there, I think. Because there's a arrow pointing out, so there's a... Alright, so I can actually do maybe this. Do it again. Alright, you guys, come on. I'm taking it slowly, and that's how you should play Dark Souls. Just take it slowly. Alright, this guy isn't poisoned. That's, that's actually a good, a good thing to know. And that guy isn't poisoned either, so we should be able to... Get through this part at least. For now. Yay! So now we can. What we can do is. We can get rid of the other guys. For example, this guy here. Man, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Can't hit you on the leg when you're <laughs> shielding. Amazing stuff. Alright, you might be actually a mimic. Nope. Alright. So, what are you? Back away. Back away. Back away. Alright, so this game actually has... I'm just explaining these things to guys that uh, haven't played Dark Souls. So that they get a better idea of what the game is like. So yeah, this game does have traps. Like that. Uh, there are quite a few and... Oh my god. Can't be serious. Yep, 
get you to be dead somehow soon rather than later because yeah all right we did it we did it sl slowly but surely surely all right there's a guy over there as well so i might as well just get rid of him as well We have a lot of arrows, so I actually bought uh, uh, them off screen and I also got some, I don't know if I showed you last time, but I got 15 human effigies as well from that, so yeah. Alright, so we are down here back again, got some human effigies right there. Then we need to find... what is this? What does it do? That door though. Alright, so it opened that one. I Oh, yeah, sure. Alright, so we do it again. And it should circle around. These puzzles, man. They are ridiculous. There you have it. And I have no idea about this. This has to be illusory wall. Nope. Not an illusory wall. And if you haven't noticed yet, I am playing offline. Man. Alright. Just take it slowly here. Alright, this guy. Repair powder. Amazing, actually. There should be... Is that illusory wall? Nope. You can actually... Ooh, that was close. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, I don't want to go there. Man, why did I drop down here? God damn it. God effing damn it. <laughs> oh man. How to get past this? Maybe through here? Whoop. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, so there's a... Oh, there's one guy over there at least where is the mage oh up there all right so i'm gonna kill the mage first there you go so kill her first these mages uh, I was talking about, you get the Black Witch uh, staff from those ones. Then there's like ghosts now that I need to deal with. This isn't the road I wanted to go with. Alright. Alright. Double sword guy. And I do zero damage against them. Amazing. Simply amazing. How to deal with these guys? Um, well, they are not that hard, so I might as well just get rid of this one guy with uh, just hacking away at him. They exhaust a lot of stamina at least. <laughs> Man. Alright, so these guys might actually be meant to fight against if you are playing with a friend. Uh, so this might be the difficult road to go through. 
Luckily I can manage. Man. This is gonna take a while, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> spend my time on trying to find a solution to fight against these guys at this hour or moment at least. guys seriously well we all ha we are halfway through there so man you can't be serious with me all right get you guys You just please die. I'm sorry. <laughs> there might be like a holy magic or something or divine magic. Uh, for example, well, I don't know. Some miracle that might actually work against these guys. Maybe healing even. Or if you heal a ghost. Yeah. Whew. That was close. I just want to kill this guy. Go down, please. For the love of God. Man, alright, so I might not want to go through that way. And this way seems maybe easier. Just gonna clear some of those pots because. Um, Yeah, they might uh, take us. What is it? In in rush, cross, cross. Is it cross? I'm not sure how do you pronounce it, but they cause you to lose your equipment faster. Yeah, there's a durability on the equipment that you have, so. Might as well just get rid of these guys. Alright, are we ready for it? Are we ready? Nope, but we will still go. We have to. Basically. Luckily there's very little of them. And they are pretty easy to fight against. As long as you take your time. There's one. Alright. Now I might be free to actually gather up some items here. Dung pie. Yeah. Exactly. Alright, so get you I have no idea where you went righty then 
Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate and yeah, I'm not that used to playing this kind of game <laughs> where you need to seriously concentrate and yeah. Not that used to it. Throwing knife. I think I saw one there. Yep. So I might as well just break that one first. Then back it away here. I'm not sure if these guys jump on you or something, but I just have to make sure. I just have to make sure. All right, climb up ladders. Yay! Seems fun. All right, this might be a mimic. It's not, but. It certainly might be a trap. It's not. Flynn's ring. So let's see about Flynn's ring. Here we have... Where is it? Maybe down below here. Flynn's ring. Lowering equipment load, increasing physical attack. Alright. Uh, we might ask actually take this one because we have such a low equipment already. Ring of Lin, the infamous thief, utilizes the strength of the wind, such as such that lower equip load proportionally increases physical at attack. Flynn was known as a tiny fighter who packed mighty punch. Even the most skilled warriors in the land failed to capture him. Alright. Sounds in interesting. Uh, what can we actually change? Ring of Blade, Ring of Giant, Stone Ring. Uh, whatever. We'll see later on about that. But for now, I'm just gonna. Alright, so if we drop down here, where do we. Where does it lead to? Is it. Yeah, it's all right. So it's here. I'm gonna jump there. Now we are here. And I think that's something so we might want to use a bow to get that. Yay! I did it. Maybe it's a good thing. Seems like a trap. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, so... What should I do? Just fight against him. I'm gonna actually... Oh my god. Back away here for a moment. Take an item. Um, and it is the repair powder that we found. Or, oh, yeah, we found one, I think. Use that one. Just so we don't lose any equipment as we fight against these guys. Well, these guys are poisonous, but. Uh, We pretty much had lost most of our most of our black steel katana. Uh, oh, there's actually a trap. Hmm. So there's holes on the wall. Oh, didn't activate it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's actually a good thing. Uh, so we will go down here. Last guy, you get trapped as well. Or not. Either way, <laughs> it's fine with me. Alright. Alright. Actually, we don't get poisoned all that easily. <laughs> Whoa. I actually activated it. Alright. So, take it slowly here. 
human effigy. You found a lot of human effigies. Two chests. <laughs> yeah, these are traps. I'm sure of it. These are so traps or something. Nope. Bolt stone, bleed stone. Yeah, the black knight stone we found earlier. It just gives a uh, dark, uh, dark element on my weapon. Twinkling Titanite and three petrified dragon bones. Amazing. There has to be a bonfire somewhere. God damn it. I need to find a bonfire. Because this episode is getting long. None of these are it. So onwards we go. I'm just waiting for the Indiana Jones moment. This game, man. Soon there will be something that... Yeah, alright. So there's a thingy machung chunguru up there. Alright, so I think something happened here instead. Yeah, I knew it. There has had to be a way. Alright, open this one. Not a trap. Bustling stone sword. I have no idea why I used that one, I'm sorry. Equipment. Let's go check out the bustling stone sword. Which one of these looks weirdly not familiar. Hmm. Black flame stone, mannequin knife. There you are, puzzling stone sword. A sword with segmented blade. When swung, its segments separate, and the sword strike in a whipping slash. Crafted with rare magnetic stone of remarkable strength, only found deep in the caves of the Gather. All right. So it's an S scaling on dexterity, which is a good weapon for me to have. So I will equip that, that and we'll see about the how it looks. Damn, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. And when we swing it. Uh, double. Alright, so it makes... It's like Ivy from uh, Soul Calibur. It makes a whip type of an attack. Might actually be quite useful. And if we uh, double wield it, it looks like that. It will be a trust weapon. And if we double click or strong attack. Man, that's awesome. And we can actually combo that one as well. That's awesome. I actually like the weapon a lot. That's the first we that kind of a weapon that I've encountered with. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. But for now we will uh, handle things with our Great Dragon Sword, if we so choose to. So I think this area is done. Seems a little weird that it's done though. No. Because like, the other area, I really wouldn't want to go that direction. I really, really wouldn't want to go that direction. But I guess we have to, so here we go. Not that direction, this direction. Uh, Alright, so those guys do... Quite a lot of damage. I'm sure that's not worth it. I'm pretty sure about it. Man. 
Another ghost warrior. Nope. Man. All right, so we found that actually, yeah, that's what we are going to do for now. We are not going this direction because we found these same sort of mechanisms earlier on, but I actually didn't uh, try to hit them. So that's our goal. Here we go back. I'm sorry, I'm struggling around. I just want to like, yeah, I have played Dark Souls 2 through, so when it comes to DLCs, I want to get everything on the first try, uh, rather than play the DLC over and over again. And try to find things that way, so yeah, that's that one. Um, so we cannot actually get through this thingy, so we will do this. Because I found the... At least there's one stone thingy that we have to go check out. And then I'll end the episode there. But... Yeah, it's sort of a... Uh, well, now we know at least what's ahead of us, if nothing else. Because now all the enemies will respawn. But... Yeah. Well, now we know what what's ahead of us and I can skip most of the enemies quite easily. Especially when the door is actually open now. Rolled around and yeah. So there's this one that I like to. Would like to actually flick. Alright, so I need to change this one to the bow. Long bow plus seven. Does it work? It seems like it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. God damn it. <laughs> God effing damn it. But I'm not sure if the enemies respond, so I'm gonna go check it out. If they didn't, that's actually a good thing. But I think if you return to your bonfire, they will uh, respawn. So if they have respawned, I will end the episode there. Oh my god. So much damage. Alright. Well, we didn't actually rest on the bonfire because we still have six Estus flasks. So... Nope, they have respawned. Effing damn it. What we might actually do is try to... Go there, perhaps? I'm not sure why I would do that. Why would I do it? Hmm... Let's see if I do this. How does Dark Hail work on these guys? Yeah. Alright. You come here. I'm gonna fight you. With this weapon. No, not that weapon. Alright. With this one. Man. Oh, 
Oh man. Well, this is actually quite a lot easier than the last one. Oh my god. Alright. Let's do this. Get your stamina up again. I don't even think you can actually backstab these guys, which is weird how strong they are. Halfway there. Oh my god, there is actually one. Oh my god. I knew it. I effing knew it. There's one flick there. <laughs> or flick. What, what are flicks? Cut them. <laughs> Flip or f flip switch? Switch thingy? Yeah. So, yeah. We are going to go back there. And we're gonna shoot it. Because I'm awesome. And I'm sure there's a bonfire behind it. I'm sure of it. This DLC is starting to get on my nerves pretty much. Um, it's not something... Yeah, it's so like puzzling. Puzzling. Yeah, it's pretty much a la labyrinth that you would like to puzzle out and find out your correct way yeah who wants to do that no one especially in a let's play that's maybe in terms just making it look way harder than it actually is maybe there's a weakness to those ghosts maybe I'm going the wrong way I don't know anything is possible I guess yeah, I was actually, I wanted this switch to work so badly. Alright, you guys should be... Alright. You're done. You're done. Go past you guys. Easy enough. Then there's the other switch, which I want to open. And I'm sure there's like a three ghosts right in front of it. Victory 6000 souls. Of course, that's just one item. And it's Soul of Great Hero and Dragon Charm. Alright, this episode is here. I'm sorry we didn't find our bonfire once again. Thank you for watching everyone. Please subscribe and comment down below. We will see you guys on the next episode. See ya.